Hi everybody, it's me Legardo Lax and I'm also known as Chino. Um, I'm making a review on a classic gaming called Mortal Kombat Gold Beta on the PlayStation 1. It's actually 12 o'clock in the morning, I'm sleepy. I got work at 4 in the morning, I don't know why I'm still up because I can't sleep. And, I don't know, I'm just tired. But anyways, uh, I'm loading up the game right now for the PlayStation 1. But um, just to talk about my, my last review, I was doing the Bleemcast PS1 test update of my room as well. And it shows in this video, um, yes, were trying to make some like it shows me smoking. I'm sorry to say that, yes, I've been, I've been a smoker for a long time. I'm 30 years old. I've been smoking since I was 10. Uh, in the Philippines, I used to sell... Uh, cigarettes by the single along with candy and had a rag in my hand cleaning cars and I was not American yet I was born and raised in the Philippines and in Metro Manila I was uh, I lived in Tundo and what happened is um, I'm just um, you know thriving here in America and then I haven't quit smoking I used to drink a lot I actually was an alcoholic for more than um, nine years and uh, from the review I did before, I quit, I even said I quit drinking. I just made these bottles. Uh, you can get these um, simple looking things. And then it shows in the video uh, me uh, drinking soda. Um, as you can see in my trash bin, it's not really a bin, it's just a bag. I've been drinking a lot of soda. And that's I'm eating popcorn. And yeah, I was just watching my own videos. And of course, I'm watching the new Avenger movie that came out on DVD. Too bad I don't do movie reviews anymore because DVD, Blu ray everywhere. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to be talking about Mortal Kombat betas, and I have them. Uh, right now, I have the PlayStation uh, running. Uh, this is Mortal Kombat Gold for the PlayStation 1. We press start. Uh, let me lay the tripod like this. Okay. I really like Johnny Cage, and this, this is the character roster. Um, it actually has Cyrax, Melina, all of them. You know, what's perfect about Mortal Kombat is that they're using motion sensor characters. It doesn't use too much RAM, so some of the characters act the same. Uh, I'll go for the novice. The graphics is identical to the Mortal Kombat 4 on um, Dreamcast. I think this game was only released for the Dreamcast. Um, beating, I'm gonna fight Tanya. Let me, um, if I, I'm gonna try to. Um, yeah, but this is Mortal Kombat Gold. The graphics are exactly as the PlayStation. Alright, now let me turn off my PlayStation and show you my next review. Um, the next review I'm going to do is they actually have Mortal Kombat, alright, I kid you not, on the Mortal Kombat 2 on the PlayStation uh, 1. I actually have it right over here. And as you can see right here, Mortal Kombat Trilogy, I got the Greatest Hits one. I actually do have the original Mortal Kombat. That one has a lot of errors. And um, this is the CD. This is actually a nice version of the game, the best way to play it. This game was also ported for the Sega Saturn and the PC CD-ROM. Mortal Kombat Trilogy is the best way to play Mortal Kombat in a way, but it's not really a trilogy to me because it has that combo system. Uh, they even have the Mortal Kombat collection and I don't know they got they got to really package all versions in one one day I mean if they can do that with Metal Slug series they can do it with Mortal Kombat the only thing is <clears throat> they also have so many different um, mythology series like Mortal Kombat uh, Sub-Zero Mythologies it also has Mortal Kombat um, uh, Shaolin Temple they even have the one with Jax I'm surprised I even have a beta version of that one I got to dig into my pile of CDs and also in my last review there was a comment saying that all my CDs are not in cases of course they're all sitting around but they're not scratched up they're actually all clean I make sure that they're good look these are all burnt PS1 games and they're all backups from whatever I had and then Resident Evil and then look they're all clean they're not scratched up 
because I basically like to take care of my games and I got like I always keep showing this wall but I have so many more games in my shed um, and, and plus other places but continuing on back to Mortal Kombat Trilogy uh, here's the PC version and it's a big box it's meant for Windows 95 and up but it does not work on Windows XP it only works all the way up to 98 and ME uh, the thing about it, you need to have a graphics card that's only 4 megabytes of RAM only. Um, it requires a VESA, VESA, V-E-S-A uh, graphics card. And most graphics cards don't even have that support anymore in their current drivers. But yeah, this game is on fire. I love the screenshots. And this game was also ported for the Sega Saturn. Let me put this boy back. Alright. And it was ported for the Sega Saturn. And they even have Ultimate Mortal Kombat on the Sega Saturn. There was a lot of features that Mortal Kombat was going through. They, they, I don't know. Uh, I even, and right now I'm booting up, um, everybody knows Trilogy. I even have a beta version of Mortal Kombat 3 in the Japanese. The difference is, it, it's a launch title from PlayStation 1. But the only thing about this is that the narration is in Japanese. So. That's a good crouch, Cash. Oh, uh, now I'm gonna, let me, oh man, I messed up. I'm gonna boot um, the PlayStation version of uh, Mortal Kombat 2, but this is a they narrated the the you know the intros because it's all in English when you read it in text, but it's actually narrated in Japanese. And then let me put this guy back in my collection. I love this. This is really good. You know, it's a collector's item. I don't know if I can find more Mortal Kombat stuff. Um, I mean, these are so many CDs. Oh my God. Uh, let me. It says exchange. Remember, I made a review on the on the uh, this swap, and now I got in order for me to play the burnt games. Uh, this is Mortal Kombat 2. While it's loading, let me press start. As you can see, look at that Mortal Kombat Japanese. It's only released in Japan, and the only thing. Look at this in the cover. It says Wanted, Dead or Alive. What's up with that? Everything's in Japanese. It doesn't even require a memory card because there's nothing for you to save anyway. But this version of Mortal Kombat is a beta. And one thing about PlayStation 1 is that... Look at the see there's the graphics and all that. I'm going to review it. Uh, the thing about the PlayStation ver uh, console, it's not really a 2D powerhouse gaming console. It's meant for 3D. Um, to be honest, they have more of a stronger texture mapping con on, this, on this console than, than the N64. But the N64 had a higher resolution, uh, 480i. Well, this is only a 480i as well, but resolution is very low. And um, let me see if I can find mythologies. I got right now. It's, low, it's playing Mortal Kombat 2 on the on the PlayStation One. I'll make a review on that. Uh, do I have Sub-Zero mythologies? I hope I don't waste. I got a few more minutes to do this. Oh, oh my God! I can't find it. <laughs> I know it's somewhere here. I got Street Fighter 1, just like Mortal Kombat. I mean, Street Fighter the movie. Just like Mortal Kombat. And I better. Oh, wait, I'm gonna be playing this game later. This is another funny game. X Men Academy. I'm gonna put that on the side. I'm gonna play that. Um, these are all my PlayStation games, yep. Yeah. Um, all originals. Blast Chamber. This is one of the launch titles in the demo. Blast Chamber. That was a great game. And. Final Fantasy 8. Oh, there's Sub-Zero Mythology, see? Yep. Why would they only have that guy in there? <laughs> uh, anyways. Back to this. This is Mortal Kombat on the PlayStation 1. The music is not really arcade transition. The music is an updated MIDI file of um, the, the PC version. This is just like the PC version. Here's a little bit of errors in the bottom. Uh, the menu looks just like the Sega Genesis. The music is just like the PC version. Johnny Cage again. And you see the bottom right, you saw an MK2 logo. It keeps loading. If you go to the option menu, you're actually to... You're, it's Shang Tsung. You're, you're, in, you're able to dismantle him from morphing because it really causes loading times. And let me play one round. If I can, but look at the graphics. If it's gonna load it, oh yeah, there you go. Well, I really thank you guys for watching. So, uh, just telling you, you got there's there's so many betas out there that I got copies, which I'll be making reviews. The next one is for this one user. I forgot his name. He wants me to put a review of Blade Runner PCC ROM beta. It's a very different game from the final version. Thank you guys for watching.